Prime Baggio. We've managed to get him from a loan pack way, way back in the beginning. And honestly, I just have not got around to doing most of these. So as you probably saw with Van Basten yesterday, we are kind of clawing our way through these icons again. Going to make this something big. So definitely stay tuned for all of this. If you do enjoy icon reviews and all kinds of content around FIFA, then if you get a couple of minutes in, still find yourself here, make sure you drop that like and subscribe. Because I don't like just saying subscribe now you've not seen anything but anyway baggio five star four star five no medium low he has an 89 base 91 mid 93 prime and he also has a cheeky 94 moments which we will get on to in terms of this card then like i say medium low right footed the traits we've got finesse which is good enough i would like a little bit of flair with that five star skills but we'll see how that plays out we've gone with the hunter with him according to footbin that's going to be the better stack to go with he gets 96 pace 98 acceleration and 94 sprint speed we end up with what 91 shooting 98 finishing and 93 positioning very nice indeed good amount of passing which obviously is a, a beautiful stat for that cam roll we then have a bit of dribbling agility balance could do with a bit of work and that's maybe where that moment is going but for now we're going to keep with that agility balance we've got great reactions ball control dribbling 85 composure is good enough a bit of stamina 76 on an attacking player might be a little bit on the lower side but again depending on how you want to use him is he a starter that gets subbed off is he a, a super sub for you you never know it depends on how you've done it but for me um this card personally would come off at half time just because if i'm in any sort of foot champs games normally i like to bring off kind of like a mid player and then somebody in the forward zone i normally personally bring off a Vieira for conte and then i'll go with sala for somebody neymar vinny Messi depending on who's actually working in that match but that's what this card would be in it's slot straight in the middle and more than likely be rotated at half time or vice versa bring him on at half time so let's jump into him see if he's worth just shy of 300,000 coins not a bad price Baggio making his oh nearly making his first name into this match we've not really seen too much from him manages to keep the ball Messi's gonna find it back and we've just ru rushed him offside absolutely waste of that ducking and weaving but again looking like he's coming into it I know this is the first clip from him but he's definitely dribbling wise looking very nice very sharp that is what I'm expecting from a five-star skiller to be honest Baggio being very, very quiet in this kind of build-up of this game. Not really seeing a heavy amount of him. Hopefully, we can kind of get him back into some sort of play. Finds it across goal. Varane is going to step there. And that's where Cliver comes in useful. Just as a side note, if you ever got somebody with a big striker, sometimes the cams can do a lot more from it because they can win them drop balls, them attempts of headers, and you just don't even think about it. It just naturally drops down to him and almost gives him another shot at it. Oh, and Baggio going for it. Messi setting him up. And that's about it. Making a run through. I'm expecting a little bit more from him this game. I want to say that it was just the level of opponent last game. He was very, very top end. And eventually we did manage to get the win um, from him. But in general, he looked like he was top tier. And Baggio just could not get a single thing right. We're here looking for that big ball into Messi. It's a good block. He identified where I was going with it. And he's just given at me there anyway but i think with baggio like i say i don't necessarily need him to uh, to be fair i could i could kind of expect him to assist don't necessarily need him to score if anything like it would always be nice to have a scoring cam but again that's not necessarily the position i need as long as the somebody's scoring a striker whatever and he's involved that is the biggest thing for me whereas if i especially if i'm playing him cam if i'm striker then obviously yeah we do need him to, to to put some numbers on the score sheet but as i'm playing him in a cam i just want to take it from somebody like a rivaldo like we did yesterday he owned the role he was always there to be passed to at the minute baggio seems like he's kind of struggling to to get himself into the game we get a good ball there, which is nice. Into Baggio. Little spin. Ping is it across. And Cliver gets the double. Baggio with another assist. That is one way to end the second game. Into Cliver. We've got somebody, two players going off him. Who's he going to bring forward first? We've rolled it into Baggio. Rolled it back into Cliver. And that is beautiful. Literally, as I was just saying in the Baggio review, he needs to get assists. That's lovely. Cliver gets his first goal, and it's a cracker across with his left. This is where I need Baggio pushing forward, but we've just not got enough. We've managed to hold him a little bit. Pings to, oh, pings to Cliver nearly. 
Baggio with any sort of volley. Why on earth that didn't go straight to Clovert's feet? That could have been an easy tap in for him and a hat trick of assists for my man Baggio. Got to find him running through here. What's the pace like? Got a solid centre back running at him. Oh, we've overstretched that too much. That's my fault. I didn't know how that last touch would have been. I thought he was going to catch and needed to do something. Unfortunately, the wrong option is he seemed to slow down. I feel, oh, that's poor. He feel like he probably thought we were turning at that point. Baggio again. Look at what he can do. He finds the ping into Neymar. That is a sensational ball. Little dip. Good, good defending from him. Baggio pushing forward. What can we find? I like his pace. Definitely got enough of that. He seems like he's coming to his element now. Now we've kind of got a bit used to him. Seems like he's really got that little bit about him. Can we find something in here? Gets the first touch. He's just not managed to find the back of the net himself. He's going to try and ping him into the middle. Baggio. Baggio, little spin. Okay, we're going to keep the ball back. Going to play it smart. Gets into that role, which is nice. Looking for something back from him, I think. Oh, my God. How on earth is he given the half of there? Baggio again, getting into the play. Positioning-wise, not as impressive. What, he's got 93 with the Hunter. Expect a little bit more, but he's doing all right so far. There it is. Good ball. Got the options of at the back post there. Going to go for it instead. Ah, why Clive peeled away? I wanted him in the absolute center there. Oh, it's easy. Absolute easy. He's giving me the inside. He's giving it to Clive, who's... Not going to set it up very well. That was poor play from me. Very, very bad game management there. Oh, Baggio off the line. That is defensive duties and a half there. Oh, and Baggio. Absolutely. 88th minute. We go 2-1 down. And one of the most important goals to score has made it 2-2. May not be the winner, but it definitely decides the match loss there. So going into the overall for Baggio then. Start off. A little bit shaky start. I feel like, like I said, um, the opponent's level was very good. We did kind of a well, to be fair. We did lose in the end 3-1. Last goal was kind of just, it is one of them. You've gone all out. They're going to catch you on the break. But we did manage to keep it at 1-1 for a very long time with very little movement up front. Managed to just sneak one in. And to be honest, Baggio was nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Second game in, two assists. Can't complain. Manages to get a lot more of the ball. His skills really showed out. Obviously, the weak foot's looking good. And in a third game, again, very, very to the wire. We managed to win 2 2. Well, we managed to draw 2 2 in the end with a 90th minute draw, 90th minute winner draw from Baggio himself. And honestly, again, nice card. I'd be very interested to see what this moment is like, even though we've only got maybe a couple of upgrades on certain things. Maybe the shooting is enough to just be uh, kind of warrant that engine instead. We've got the hunter still as the thing. I don't know why footbins things are like this now. It's very weird. But we could go with the hunter like we did with the version of the prime, or we could go with the engine, which gets you more agility balance. All swings and roundabouts, which we will try out soon. So again, if you want to see more of these moments, mids, primes, bases, we're going to be trying to cover as many as possible. Then definitely subscribe. But that is for a future video. We'll kind of decide which one we'll rather go with. But this one's definitely the hunter. You've, you've got to, really. I don't think there's any other option. Because the pace, the, the shooting, is a little bit lower, you want a bit more. And shot power, yes, it doesn't go up massively. So maybe that's where you go with more of the creative side, to be honest. But for me, I think coming in at, what, 329 at the moment, I think he's kind of just fluctuating a little bit between. I know he was 290 when we first started the review. So again, market sales, go check out what the price is. Because again, these are still going down in price as well. And naturally, they will do. The moments is coming in at 887. So again, a little bit of a price difference between the two. If we were looking between the mid and the prime, you're losing, you're losing everything bar from pace. So again, that's not terrible. The The base of him looks actually all right, to be fair to him. Like, again, 92s everywhere. Might be a little bit outdated now. Um, but if we look in comparison to the prime, to be honest, there's really not a massive difference there. Other than the pace loss, you're getting almost the same card for how much? 133. So th this is what I mean. You've always got to check each version. And this is why I want to bring you an in, an in detailed review of each of them. So you can make your mind up. Sometimes it's the games you play. I could play 15 games with every single one. And some players will have 15 incredible games. Some players will just have 15 terrible games. It is all about your perspective of the card. And judging roughly what you can see. Skill move weak foot. 
body type. Then you've got the work rates, you've got the stats, you've got the traits, you've got naturally who is going to be around, what mode you're playing. There is so much that goes into it and it was all opinion based. So some players really may hate Baggio. I didn't think he was terrible. I love the skill moves. I like the weak foot. Stats are pretty solid and the price isn't terrible. 300k for a, an N93 cam, icons that link to everybody. It's not awful. Is he the best cam that you can get? Of course not. For 300k, you are not getting anywhere near the best cam because that's going to be someone like a Zidane moments, an R9, well, not R9 moments, but a Cruyff moments, a, um, a Maradona moments. That is going to be the big boys. This is where you kind of see is the price worth it compared to anybody else 400 500 300k 200k what is the best budget cam and i think baggio definitely puts his name in the hat in terms of other cams that you can get in terms of icons because we could go here forever if we were just looking at generic cams if we're looking at the sort of price range as well his prime moments will be technically better don't think you'll notice a massive difference if we're looking a bit more he's probably better than raquel me in my opinion rivaldo again a bit more of a price increase but he was fantastic fantastic loud drop is better than him nedved was a very very good cam again coming in a little bit more on that heavier price tag um socrates is massive price looking at kaka prime i'd say they're very similar um i think if we go further down that's probably about it really ronaldinho but a big big price tag on him still socrates cam i'd say he's probably better than him as well they get and again it is all down to perspective and what works for your team you may have an italian that you really are desperate to get that strong link with and baggio is your man plenty of italian icons to have a look at i'm going to personally give him a solid 8.8 .8. i think there's definitely room for improvements hopefully the moment does provide a little bit more but again it's only a couple of upgrades and, and say this with informs predominantly you're paying for the dynamic that is naturally and a brand new card there is no higher rated version so this is going to be the biggest card you can get of that baggio so it'd be interesting to see what that's like so if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and i'll catch you off the next one peace